people generally think of as a clubfoot is the idiopathic clubfoot, a child with no other medical disorders or syndromes that's born with a deformity in their foot. The deformity has four main aspects to it. The acronym CAVE tells you what those are. CAVE, C is cavus, means a high arch in the foot. Adductus is the A, which means the toes are deviated inwards. The V is varus, which means the heel is turned under. And E is equinus, which means the whole ankle is plantar flexed or pointed down. So it's a def it's an overall deformity that takes in those four variables. And it ends up looking a lot like a, a hooked foot. Club feet are idiopathic in general, means we have no idea. However, there are several factors that will increase the likelihood of club foot. The primary of which is inheritance. Um, while the studies are not specific, and we don't know the specific gene that causes a club foot, we do know that monozygotic twins, twins that are identical, will have a higher incidence, about 40% will, both twins will have it. Whereas dizygotic twins or non-identical twins are more like that of a normal brother and sister. If you have a, a parent or a sibling with a club foot, you're more likely to get a club, club foot yourself. Historically, club feet were treated surgically. And I would say that coming out of fellowship in the last five, 10 years, we don't do a lot of that surgery anymore because something called the Ponsetti method has come about and become more popular. The Ponsetti method is a means of serial casting. The earlier it started, the better. We usually start within the first two to three weeks of life with casting. Uh, you're slowly correcting the deformity by changing casts each week, usually taking four to six to eight weeks of, of casting it's very successful. The long-term outcomes of it are very reliant on compliance with the follow-up care. Once the casting is complete and the heel cord has been lengthened, we have to put someone in what's called a Dennis Brown bar, which looks like the two little shoes with the bar across the side front uh, with the feet externally rotated. Compliance with that bracing is what leads to the downfall of Ponsetti method treatment. But if you can get parent and child to be compliant with that bracing method, uh, usually it's full time for up to four to six months and then naps and night times up to age three or four. If you can get them to be compliant with that, you'll avoid surgery. The Ponsetti method, since you're not actually interfering with any of those things and your correction is slow and gradual, you don't have those same complications. However, recurrence is common when there's poor compliance with the brace wear. And there are newer methods, newer types of shoes that are being developed, although they're not readily available to